Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, our hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers upon the Sunnah and Athar to another exclusive episode of FMF Five Minutes of Faida. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. And I'm sure we've all heard the statement, Man ghaba khab wa akhada nasibahu al ashab. Oh, akala nasibahu al ashab. Man ghaba khaba wa akala nasibahu al ashab. Whoever is absent, whoever fails to show up for class, man ghaba, he who isn't around, khaba, he'll lose, he'll fail, he'll miss out. And on top of, or even more than him missing out and him losing and failing, wa akala nasibahu al ashab, his friends, his classmates, his comrades, his teammates, they will eat his share. They will take his portion. If you don't show up for practice, your teammate will take your spot on the team. Junior varsity, varsity, you're down on a bench. Not because you're a bad player, not because you lack talent, not because you don't love the game, but because you didn't show up for practice. You're no longer the top student anymore. You no longer uh, promised that ijazah because you didn't come to class. So we've all heard a statement before. And I personally remember the first time, or the first time I personally heard this statement, I was in Yemen. And one of my shuyukh there in Yemen, he would always quote this statement. He who is absent will lose out, and his friends will take his portion. And the sheikh, he would always quote these, uh, he would make this quote when students would make different excuses, why they couldn't come to the majlis, why they couldn't come to the halqa, or why they couldn't memorize, or why their lulu marjan was off, or their bulugh al-maram was off, or their bukhari was off, the different books of hadith that the students were memorizing, that we were memorizing in those days. So whenever they would try to you know, make this type of funny excuse, the sheikh, he wouldn't argue with them, he would quote this statement. All right, now, years later, I read this statement, and I came across the original source of this statement, which is a fountain um, a book uh, of Abu Musa al-Madini, al-Hafif, of the 6th century, and I believe it's 581 in which he died. Uh, he has a book which is called Daqaiq al-Ma'arif fi ulumi al-Huffad al-A'arif. And in this book, um, he quotes um, uh, a scholar of Hadith who was uh, Abu Hassan Ali bin Ahmed. He says, Hadartu inda Abi Bakr al-Naqash wa qad ja'ahu ba'd ashab al-Hadith. He said that uh, I came to this alim, this scholar, who this half of the name Abu Bakr al Naqash. And there were some hadith disciples, there were some students of hadith who came to his majlis as well. And he uh, fell to hear some of the narrations. The juz hadithi, that Sheikh's compilation of hadiths what he was uh, giving out, passing out, giving the students in jazz in, whatever the case may be, he came late. He had to use the bathroom, something. Fatahu. So he asked Abu Bakr and Naqash to, can you please repeat the last narration, Ya Sheikh? Can you please re repeat the last three hadiths, the last rawi, etc., etc. And at that time, Abu Bakr and Naqash, rahimahullah ta'ala, he didn't tell the student no. He didn't tell the student you came late, etc. Walakin, however, yeah, or Asnada, he reported with his chain of narration. His Sheikh, from his Sheikh, from his Sheikh, from Yazid ibn Harun al Wasati, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, who narrated, he said, I heard Sufyan al Thawri saying, Man ghaba, khaba, wa akala, nasibahu al ashab, walam, aw falam yu'id lahu harfa. And then he quoted Sufyan al Thawri, who said, Whoever is absent, whoever doesn't show up, will lose and his friends would take his portion. And Abu Bakr al-Naqash failed or he refused to repeat one single letter from what that hadith disciple had missed out on. So the moral of the story is you gotta come to class. You cannot make an excuse for your absence. I didn't think you were coming, Sheikh, or I didn't think you wanna be here, or oh, my daughter or my wife or this or that. You can't make excuses. You gotta show up. And if you don't show up, Someone else will show up and that person will take your spot like a pizza party. If you fail to come to the pizza party, someone else will grab your slice.